Next is your uh, example one on your author projection. So this example, um, we're gonna see how to use a meta or meta. You can call it uh, in uh, whichever way you wanna. Forty-five. You know, okay. We call it meta. I like to call it meta. Meta line is a forty-five degree line. Um, and we use it to draw your top and our horizontal view. So here I have um, the front and right side views. Okay, so let's see how we are going to uh, draw this. Uh, your front and right side view of a line. Okay, so here and then here. Um, and so I don't uh, get confused when we when we write it like an orthographic solution. Okay, we're just talking about how to draw that projection. Yeah, projection. And in order for us to draw the projection, as you know, we have to keep right the same scale. We'll have to use and also your your relation lines got to be perpendicular to each other. Yes, so we will apply all of that into our drawing. To keep, to keep that proportion, yeah, the sides the same. First, we're gonna place uh, extension lines. Okay, extension lines. We use it so we can be able to uh, relate the endpoints of the line. And of course, we're going to label the points. So the first point is one. Second point is two. You can also call one here and two. Okay, it doesn't really matter. So here is your end to end. And of course to end and these are your extension lines you draw the first then we're going to put a fold line somewhere between the views okay this is our two views so I'll put it right here of course it's got to be perpendicular to your extension lines and these lines we can erase them later okay so when you draw it's got to be thick because that's a real line and it's got to be just a kind of like a sketching but i definitely want you to use your rulers so you can get this a 90 degree angle right so yeah so when you translate uh, the lines you can be able to get it in the right uh, projection of course we don't draw our second full line perpendicular to the first one at their intersection yeah we're going to uh, measure 45 degree from here up let me get my uh, uh, pencil here yeah 45 degree right there okay um, right over this little arrow really difficult to write it in here Anyway, this got to be 45 degree, okay? And we call this a mitre line. And this is where the two fold lines, the extension line, first fold line, second fold lines, and then we draw the mitre lines at 45 degree, okay? So between the view and the mitre line here, okay, we're going to draw another perpendicular line. And of course, the perpendicular line is perpendicular to the second fold line. And that full line is between this mitre line and the view. Yeah. After that, we're gonna draw okay another. And that perpendicular line is right here. Okay. So here is your mitre line. So the point formed by the intersection on that mitre line. Okay. It's gonna get projected across this vertical full line. All right into the horizontal view okay your horizontal view don't forget it is your top view okay horizontal or top view because we've got a front and right view given to us then we're going to project okay points one two from the front view into the horizontal top view and we've got an intersection right here okay so that's what's it's saying here, notice that an intersection is formed by the projection line and the horizontal line projected from the point on the 45 degree mitre line. Okay, so look at that.
we've got our lines. Then with the two projector, the first projector here and second projector here is the point, right? And that's your end view of your line one and two. Since it is a line, you've got only a point here in your projection. So now all of the points, all right? And now accounted for front, right, and your top view. And of course, we will label the point. I label it with this arrow, orange arrow here. So I know my point is right there, okay? You can erase, all right, all of this if you want to. So we get this, this, and our projected. Okay, a little dot, which is your point here. So now I erase everything, and you only have your fold lines right there. Yeah. So where you know the visual uh, rays uh, cross. So here, this is our projected point. And since uh, we have two points here, yeah? the first end and then second end, right? And it's projected onto a, a point on this view, which is your top view. We can only see a point, and that is your one and two, right? Because uh, point one is uh, in front of your point two. So when we label, is one to a comma two, okay? Because we're projected uh, this way, okay? Because if you look at the uh, rays, you know, projector to come here, your your point one, uh, this guy here, yeah, is gonna strike here faster because the distance is shorter. From here to there, I see a distance is longer, so that's going to come, that's going to be projected um, later. Okay? Can you see that? I hope you can see that. Practice it. Well, that's the end of your example, example um, one here. Yeah. And we can see quickly how we draw here. Yeah? Extension fold, fold, monitor. And you're gonna have the very first, okay? Right there, right? We are projecting the points to the top view. Right? And then we draw another line because we want to project this onto the top view. So that's our horizontal view, full line uh, is here. So we cross that full line with this perpendicular, perpendicular line. And we project that point, yeah? And we got it, erase it, and label it, okay? Yep, yeah, that's it for example one.